Welcome back to Dev Odyssey, a developer's journey through IT, where I cover tutorials and reviews of IT tools and technologies. I'm your host, Orst, and in this video, we're kicking off a new series called Postman Pointers. In particular, we're going to be looking at how to create a dynamic request body with this first Postman Pointers video. In this video, we're going to be utilizing two request bodies, an XML request and a JSON request. And also, we're going to be looking at Postman environments and Postman pre-request script in order to successfully execute this. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So, as you can see, I'm using something a little bit different this time with Postman. Instead of using the desktop app, I'm going to go ahead and use the web app. It's fully featured other than using the Postman agent at times where you need it. And I do really like the UI, and I'm really excited to see it come into the Postman desktop version, which should be very soon. So now, let's get started. In here, I have my Dev Odyssey public workspace where you guys can freely look at the collections that I've created so far. And for this video, we're doing a dynamic body collection. So let's go ahead and open that. In here, you see I have two requests, as noted before, the JSON request and an XML. We're going to go ahead and start with JSON. In here, all this request is is a post request to HTTP bin forward slash post. All this endpoint does is it sends back what we post to it in the body. And so that kind of gives us a verification on if we sent what we expect to send. Of course, we're going to need an environment for this. So here, I've already set up a dynamic body environment where all it is is a variable called dynamic body. Next, we go ahead and look at the body. All we have here is simply just the variable dynamic body. Next, we have our pre-request script where everything really happens. So our top variable here is just a dynamic body that is an empty JavaScript variable. If you want to load a JavaScript variable, you can certainly do that using this line here. You just have to be sure to actually parse the variable that comes through from the Postman environment. And that's because we want to turn a string JSON object into a native JavaScript object. Then in here, all we do is we do some dynamic functionality, so to speak. So we add a introduction attribute to this object with the value hello world. And then we add an outro attribute using goodbye world. You can see that these are done in two different ways, and those both are acceptable in JavaScript or Node.js. Lastly, we console log the body just to see what we've created. And then the most important part is we save this environment variable back to Postman using pm.environment.set, the actual Postman environment name. And then we need to stringify the actual dynamic body JavaScript variable because we need to turn it from a JavaScript object to JSON. And in doing that, we can go ahead and click Send. And as you see down here under the body for data, we have introduction, hello world, and outro, goodbye world. Super simple. So now we're going to do this in XML. We're going to go ahead and click XML. And it's going to be a little bit different. And that's because JSON is native to JavaScript, while XML is not. So we have to use a wrapper called Cheerio.js, which I've used in plenty of my other videos, especially with working with XML or HTML. You can check those out. Looking at the body, it looks exactly the same. We have dynamic body that'll just be filled once we execute the pre-request script or send the request off. Then in a request, first we initialize an empty dynamic body. And in this case, we use the Cheerio.load method, and then we load a blank string. Or if you want, you can also load a dynamic body variable by doing the same thing as we did before using pm.environment.get dynamic body. Then using an empty Cheerio object, we go ahead and go to the root, and we append an XML tag. Then from the XML tag, we add a introduction tag called hello world. And then again, in the, under the XML tag, we add an outro called goodbye world. We log to the body just to verify it. And then we go ahead and do the most important part again, is setting the dynamic body variable in the Postman environment to the dynamic body JavaScript variable we have here, or in this case, it's the Cheerio variable, and the stringified version using HTML method. Go ahead and click send. And as you can see, we have our XML tag, our introduction tag, hello world, and then the outro tag, goodbye world, and the ending XML tag. So it works just as you expected. 
Just to note, you could also do this with attributes in, in Cheerio. So whatever XML attributes you need to add, you can go ahead and do that. And also with JSON, you can go ahead and add nested objects or arrays. And so long as you're able to create them in the string versions, you can go ahead and put it in here as a dynamic body, and then send it off, and there you go. And that about covers it for this Postman pointer on dynamic request bodies. Thanks again, everyone, for following me in my journey. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you like this content around Postman pointers or other content around IT tools and technologies, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click that bell for notifications so you don't miss the next one. Did you guys find value out of this video? Do you think you'll be useful? Go ahead and drop me a comment and let me know. Thanks again, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.